When Rome wanted a city, nothing stood in their way. The Empire's engineers turned siege warfare into a terrifying science that crushed everything from Carthage to Jerusalem. The Romans didn't just attack walls, they built their own. During sieges, they constructed a circumvallation, a ring of fortifications surrounding the entire city. At Alessia in 52 BCE, Julius Caesar built a 35-kilometer wall with towers, ditches, and deadly traps, trapping 80,000 Gauls inside with no escape. But the real genius was in their siege engines. The ballista, essentially a massive crossbow, could launch 60-pound stones over 300 meters with devastating accuracy. Roman catapults bombarded defenders day and night, breaking both walls and morale. When it came time for the assault, the Romans deployed the Testudo formation, soldiers interlocking their shields to create a protective tortoise shell against arrows and rocks. Under this shield, they'd advance with battering rams, massive logs tipped with iron that could punch through the strongest gates. Siege towers, some reaching over 100 feet tall, rolled toward enemy walls on massive wheels. From these mobile fortresses, archers and artillery rained death while bridges extended to deposit soldiers directly onto the battlements. If walls proved too strong, Romans went underneath. At Masada, they built a massive earth ramp to reach the plateau fortress. In other sieges, engineers tunneled beneath walls, replacing the earth with wooden supports. When set ablaze, the supports collapsed, bringing entire sections of wall crashing down. The psychological impact was just as devastating. The sight of Roman siege works being methodically constructed sent a clear message, surrender or face annihilation. This wasn't just warfare, it was Roman engineering turned into a weapon that conquered the ancient world.